welcome my friends, family, freaks, and relations, those that are all of the above. And I so appreciate you being here today. I am really having an interesting weekend, and it's pulling me in a direction that I didn't know. I'm not sure how I'm going to react yet. So I want to come live because this whole week I've been talking about who you are and who you really are being authentically you and living your authentic life. And part of that is on your story. Um, and I went and part of that came up today. Uh, part of that is just knowing who you are and what your purpose is. And that came up today. So this weekend, um, again, there's trigger warnings all over this. There's a lot of things that I'm going to talk about. This is an adult conversation. Um, if you can't be an adult or you are not an adult, please leave. Also, um, just know that there's some stuff here that we're going to talk about that could be uh, very triggering for people. So I want to respect that space for you and know that I am here. If you need to turn this off, let me know. Um, and I'm here to talk. Okay. So this weekend, like I said, has been such a weird weekend for me and there's been a lot of things that happened kind of in a row and I've had a couple really interesting conversations um, that really leads me into the space of why I do what I do. And some of the things that I don't always talk about why I talk about these things, right? And I'm going to start by, I'm coming, I have a perspective of a gay white male. Okay, so this is the first thing I need to tell you about is that I have a perspective and a point of view and I know that a lot of us go through these things. So I'm not discounting anyone else's experience in life. And I know that we go through a lot of the same experiences, right? And there's a couple things that just like really hit me today. And one of them is that you need to know who you are. I had, you are not what you do, you are not what you think, you are not your thoughts. Okay? So, who are you really? When you take away all the labels, boy, girl, gay, white, male, whatever I want to talk about. It's so important to know that for yourself. And your definition is going to be different than my definition. And the only one that's going to be able to talk about that is you. And the reason that came up is that, like I said, I had a couple really interesting conversations. One of them was with someone that said that he only feels complete when he has been, uh, when he has someone else's semen in him. That the only time he feels complete is when he's used sexually. And I think that's prevalent in the gay community, especially, um, in the queer community, um, it, everything is so sexualized in a lot of ways that having this conversation, like I said, this is an adult conversation, folks. Um, and there's nothing wrong with being used. There's nothing wrong with sex. There's nothing wrong with any of it. But if you think your worth is, oh, you are only worthy when you are being fucked, for God's sakes, please. And this is what people are thinking out there. This is what people feel. And then I had a phone call this morning that one of my very good friends tried to commit suicide last night. Probably for some of those same reasons.
We have to own our stories. We have to own who we are. We have to step into that space that's bigger than us. We have to step into that space that's bigger than us. And then I was talking to a really good friend of mine who come to find out was raped. Like literally, I've had three conversations within 24 hours that And it, 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 it's not even so much that he was raped, but he was raped in a way that he um, lost pieces of himself. Someone I love. Someone that I'm very close with. And what I got to do with him is just change that story, change the story he was telling himself. Because sometimes it's not what happened. It's the story that we tell it. How we tell that story that's so important. And the stories that you keep telling yourself about yourself, about who you are. How can we change those stories to be something that is going to move you forward? How are we going to change those stories to um, know that you are more than I love you too, Heather. Thank you. There's so much pain out there right now. There's so much. There's so much out there that people are not allowing themselves to be fully in their in their power, in their life. And I keep thinking, guys, I wish I could just, like, hand it to you. It's time. It is time to get free, Brent. I am so in a space right now. And I'm and I'm hurting. Uh, obviously, um, my friend this morning, um, it was a lot. You know, and I'm merely... You know, and there's guilt, there's stuff, there's stuff. And I know that's not my fault by any means. I know that. But, you know, you have that conversation of, are you there? How can you be there? How can you have been there more? Um, and it's not even me, right? I'm, I'm not even, it's not about me. How can I support him more now? And one of the ways I can support him more now is to talk to him about these things. This is how I can support the community, support the world, We need to. And I know I can't, I, I'm talking from the space of a gay white man, right? And I'm talking in the gay community because the people I've talked to are in the gay community. But I can tell you, I've talked to women that's had some of these experiences. I've talked to um, men who have these experiences. I'm not being able to own their own masculinity. Um, so it's not even, it's not even that. Right? It's about how do you own your life? How do you own that story? How do you create yourself in a way that you know? So thank you all guys for being here. You are all loved. If, you, if you're struggling, reach out. Reach out to me. I'm here. I love you. I will see you all soon. Everyone here at the True Awesome Network asks you to please subscribe, like, comment, and spread awesome.